in these problems, we're going to use estimation to get an answer that's close enough for a decimal multiplication problem. And the estimation is going to make these problems a lot easier than they would have been otherwise. So this problem says, let's estimate 0 0.877 times 29.1 by rounding each number to the place of its leftmost non-zero digit. What does that mean, the place of its leftmost non-zero digit? So ignoring the zeros on the left, the number that's in the highest place value, the number that's that's most to the left. So we want to round to the nearest tenth for eight, uh, 0.877, and we want to round to the nearest 10 for 29, because this is the 29.1, because this is the tens place. When you round to a place, you look at the place to the right and ask, is that um, five or above, or is it below five? If it's five or above, you round up. So we're going to round this 0.877 up to 0.9. So this should be 0 0.9. Here, since we're rounding to the tens place, we look at the ones place and ask, is that uh, five or above or below five? And it's above again. So we're going to round up from 29 to 30. That's the nearest 10 to 29.1. Now we can do a multiplication problem that's a lot easier. So 30 times 0 0.9, 9 times 0 is 0, 9 times 3 is 27. I have 1 behind the decimal place, so we get 27. And you don't have to put the point 0 there. You can just give the 27. And you know, looking at this, 0 0.9 is almost 1, and 1 times 30 would be 30. This is almost 30. So that does make sense. Looks like we got it right. Let's try another one. So let's round first. The leftmost non-zero digit here is the ones place. So we want to round to the nearest one. So that's either going to be five or six. We look at the place value to the right. And if it's five or above, we round up. So we're going to round this 5.59 up to a six. Here, the leftmost non-digit zero is in the hundredth place, that's seven. So we look to the to the uh, right of the seven and ask, is that above or above five or above or below five? It's below five. So this is going to stay a seven, but that two is just going to become a zero or really disappear. So this is 0 0.07 now. Okay. Then we can multiply. So 0 0.07 times 6. Well, just do the, the number part and ignore the leading zero. 6 times 7 is 42. And then count the numbers of places behind the decimal point, two of them, and put it there. So our answer is going to be 0 0.42. So that is a little bit of work with using estimation to make a decimal multiplication problem a little bit easier.